Hey, kill him. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. I'm reading Casey's uh, zine. You're reading a book of photos? Yeah, that's like <laughs> watching the podcast. Sorry, I, I just uh, I, I pressed record while we were totally not ready to start recording. But fuck it, we're, we're going live. Welcome to the Motus Podcast with your faithful hosts, DJ KJ and Mac Daddy Jr. Giles. <laughs> How's, Mac- how many words have you read? Uh, a fair few. Uh, I can multitask. This is really nice. Well Keelan, done, Casey. You, Keelan uh, is flipping through. Casey... Uh, try hard. Collectives. Casey, Casey Wilson. There we go. I almost said Casey Neistat. Casey Wilson's Zine or Zine. Oh, is it a zine? I thought it was a zine, but then magazine. So zine. Oh. But I don't know. But it's a photo book. They sold out rapidly. He sent me one for free because, you know, that happens sometimes. And it's fucking lovely. So hey, check, really cool. check check out the Try Hard Boys. Also, oh, actually, nice. shout out to Normal Brand who sent us some pins the other day. If you want to send anything to the Motors Broadcast for... We, we can review it. We can review yeah, it on the podcast. We can podcast. kind of give it a plug or a kind of like, oh, thank you for this. Then then fire it over. We can give it an honest review. An honest review, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, didn't quite like this. They have Motus in here and everything. Look, the whole page that full of Motus. It's just Motus. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. It's banging. Rating it. Oh, of course. A joint. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to put this down now because I have to look for a while. Lovely. The devil's no. the devil's lettuce. Mm. Um, oh, fuck off emails. I thought it crashed. No, my emails just always pop up. Sorry, ladies and gents. We don't have a designated laptop for podcasts only. Uh, so. We really need to do one of those like intros where we play music and it's a recap of the thing. And we're like, <laughs> in this week's episode, Giles and Keelan sat down to discuss... How the hell did DK get sponsored by Adidas? What? DK did he got actually? sponsored by Adidas. But, but, okay. Just, How did you find out about that? Was this he, he put it on his fucking Instagram. But, but, out of, there's many controversial things to talk about in this episode, as the title will give away. Keelan's now shaking his head. First up, of the most controversial things that I've got written down, did you see this? Top of the notes there. Parkour beer. There's a company called. Backcountry Brewing, and they've released a parkour ISA. I don't know what an ISA is. I don't know what an IPA is. Well, I don't know what it means. I drink them sometimes. Oh, yeah. But, but ale. they've just named a beer parkour. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's just it's just called Parkour ISA, and it says, if your goal is to get from point A to point B creatively, then technically you're doing it. A vibrant beer packed with plenty of hops to satisfy, satisfy and keep you keen to fly. How the fuck did you parkour. find that? Somebody shared it on Facebook the other day. Is it this that you've got right up right now? Yeah. Now, there's a couple of things I want to say here. Number one, send it to us. Because if oh, we're gonna please. review if we're gonna review anything, we yes. should review the parkour beer. I mean, listen, I'm drinking grape juice right now. <laughs> oh, grapey. And we also, could say so much more about your beer. What what is that? Does I'm that, just confused how that like how that happens. Why? What? Why? It's like it's like naming a beer skateboard beer. I know. Does that mean that parkour's cool? Look at them. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, no, they, well, they definitely someone has some involvement of parkour. They can't have just seen. No, parkour. no, I don't think they do. I think Seriously? people have just gone like, oh, gone, oh, that's parkour. I'm gonna make a beer called parkour beer. I think so, but is that? I don't know what that means for parkour. Like, is that a- I mean, I don't think it's a bad or good thing. I mean, I can tell how people would probably think it's a bad thing because it's a beer, which is a drug, and it's named after parkour. <laughs> yeah. But really, I don't think it... It's just a really weird link. <laughs> like, it's a really <laughs> kind of strange thing. Uh, oh, well, it's quite funny. I, I, yeah, I, I yeah. enjoy that. I mean, but yeah, backcountry be- brewing, it's somebody ha- must have that hook up. Fucking hook us up. Our PO box is... is- can you send a beer? Yeah, I think so. Over I mean, the, can, overseas? Of course. Well, it has to get shipped at some stage. Yeah. Hold up, I think oh, an office window is open. You can probably hear the lorries thundering by. Two seconds. Or we just got thundery, thundery no, lorries. It's, it's that one. Okay, well, while he does that, I really want to grab my cup of tea and wish I could bring my mic with me. All right, all right. One day, I mean, this is fucking episode 20. Like, we should really have our act I together. I already had episode 20. No, nah, I was confused last week. Oh, so By the way, shout out to Nate. Episode 19. That was a really good one, actually. That was actually. a solid episode. Want to hang out with Nate more. Also, and this is a fucking beautiful segue, uh, 
commiserations, Nate, because you're not already pre-qualified for the Art Motion, which he said he wanted to be. Yeah. And the Art Motion is our next topic. Um, announced last last week. This this I mean last couple of days. Yeah, I, I well I can remember when it was properly announced. I just remember seeing Jason Paul's video. Yeah, we we kind of found out after we did the podcast from Emily that it was like 99% locked in. Yeah. Oh dear. Heavy D's just walked in the room. The menace that you is. You might be able to hear if you... Oh, if you didn't close the office door, the whole thing's a shambles. You would hear a big thud, a crash or ripping. I need to tell this story to the podcast. Last night, it's baking hot in England at the moment. So myself and Sarah are asleep. We've got the window open, fans blowing. And somebody is like riding, or a group of lads is like riding a shopping trolley down the street outside our house. I, don't, I, I think I must have woken up beforehand. So I heard this like, this clatter... And Darwin, who, if people know Darwin, is is a fairly... He's not... I don't think he's huge, but he's a decently sized dog. He's muscly. And also, he's he's half American Bulldog, which are kind of notoriously um, uh, defensive of their property and their owners and things. He went into, like, full security mode and was, like, growling and barking and, like... Fr- and he never does it. Like, he'll bark and he gets annoyed at people if he wants to go for a walk and things, but he never goes aggressive. And he went, like there is someone breaking into the house, I must kill them. And I was like, oh my... And we couldn't shut him up. And he ran to the bedroom door and he was barking his butt. I was like, God, Because we we just got fucking new neighbours as well. And I didn't want, like, the bad impression of, like... Oh, I know, my. that would have been bad. And he, I, So I opened the door and he searches the entire house, like, growling, going into every room. And, I mean, I knew it was the people outside of the fucking shopping trolley, but, it, yeah, woke us all up. And then I felt really bad because I got angry at him. And then, really, he's just doing his job. He's just... He just, just loves you guys so much. Yeah, he, he was just like, you. I have to defend you. When well, it was just some probably just some, drunken teens exactly. riding a shopping trolley exactly. all the way down the hill. That's yeah, very, which is very, pretty epic because it's yeah. a steep hill. <laughs> oh, you should have come up here and watched. That would have been so well, good. When I, As I heard it, I was like, I want to look out the window. But as that thought came into my head, Darwin then flipped. So I was like, oh, that, yeah. Yeah. Bigger things to deal with. Fuck. I would have kind of been scared of... Well, just because I hadn't seen, haven't seen Darwin in that It's crazy. State before, really, so. really strange. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> jinx, bad luck. Oh, Imagine getting pad jinxed or whatever on this, and then you're not allowed to fucking speak for the whole thing. Yeah, and at the very end, I'm like, Keelan James Ryan. Your middle name is James, isn't it? No, it's Jack. You were Shit. close. So you wouldn't have got it. Hold up, hold up. I think Cut Darwin might be destroying toilet paper. Okay. Art motion, go. Yeah, well, personally, I, I, I'm happy for a new location, but me and Giles were talking earlier, and there's just so many top. Well, there's, there isn't as many flat roofs as Santorini, which is a big sort of downfall. Um, and there's loads of tiles. So what's going to happen is, my predicament is, everyone's going to get, everyone's going to fly over to uh, Art of Motion in Italy. And before the competition, everyone's going to train. 20 to 30 rooftops will be broken, tiled ones. Uh, seven injuries... And then we won't be allowed back in Italy ever wait, again. Wait, 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 because I'm sure the Italian government listen to this and they're probably like, they're going to cancel it. Oh, sorry. Hearing this. There's going to be many amazing advertisements to it will get be fine. the city to have um, more Sorry, Darwin found a polystyrene-like packing thing and he was just trying to eat it and I had to pry it out of his mouth. Oh, look at his face. Now he's really he upset. He doesn't understand. Um, what were you saying? That it's just going to oh, be I just, no, no, no. a new I, environment? I was, I was being completely negative, but I was just saying... <laughs> that I was predicting for there to be lots of tiles broken. Yeah. Um, uh, I just feel like that place looks a lot more historic for, than Santorini. Well, it is. That's I know what... Santorini is expensive, but it's actually made very well. Yeah. You know I mean? like, hardly anything gets broken usually, like maybe some windows or something. Yeah, yeah. Top. Jason was saying I think it is literally a historic town because yeah. M- Matera, or wherever it is, is like a town. Mm-hmm. But then there's like this historic old town section of it where they've got these like older buildings that are made out of caves and things. Because um, that Red Bull obviously want like the cool looking course. Yeah. Like they want the kind of the the thing that looks good on the on the TV. I kind of rate that though that they want. Like, oh yeah, a good for place sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Santorini. Although it's one of those buy. things where it's like, well, they're spending a lot of money on like a certain location where maybe. Especially Santorini, like the viewpoint for we said this last time, like the viewer, the viewpoint for everyone else is shit. It's like really. Oh like, yeah, it's an online. When they did thing. the one in the middle of London, where they just like built a few structures on the I middle of South that Bank one online, yeah. It was just like it was so much easier in a way. So much easier, but f- what for me, like here we go, because I wasn't there. Santorini. Me watching, no, no, no. I mean, as in the one in London, yeah. I wasn't actually there. There, yeah. Online, it doesn't look as 
epic and true cool. yeah yeah but, santorini but does look I, it would have would have been sick to see the yeah. london one because it's london yeah um just to, so basically um today which is monday i don't know when we'll put this up farang just released a full podcast that literally details everything you need to know about the art motion so go and listen to that for like all the proper deets so w- here's what we've got to think about we've got to kind of imagine Usually when we go to Santorini, you go for like a bit of like a few days before and everyone's training and exploring. Yeah, because yeah. it is a holiday. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're everyone's going to be exploring. Yeah. I just don't know what that's going to turn into. Like, ha- that's what I'm saying about like I, problems because so many people want to are going to want to train, but maybe not on the course because you might not be allowed. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. people are just going to end up trying to find spots and is there going to be more spots? And it's going to be a very, from what I... Oh, there even, sorry. No, it so. looks like a very different town style. No... I mean, so from though, from a far like viewpoint, it looks similar to Santorini, but dusty and. But that's only that's only the historic yeah. old town. The rest of it doesn't look like that. Exactly. Yeah, but even when you look closer to the historic town, yeah, you're like shit. No, it's quite different because not every roof is just flat, and it's yeah. not like. But also, it's like Santorini. There's many other towns you can hop on a quad bike. This like, town is kind of on its own. It's not mm-hmm. like near the coast. There's no beaches or anything that you can just like quickly pop down to. It's like an hour oh. away from the sea. Um. I, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if for this first year, it like, this was a, if you listen to the Frank podcast, this wasn't their main, like this was their B location. They had one that they, this is why everything's happened so much later. Okay. They had one sorted and then it fell through. Oh, really? I wouldn't be surprised if it only happens once here. Yeah. And also I wouldn't be surprised if like a lot of people go, but not as many, like Santorini last year was, no, last year was when it didn't happen. The year when you came was crazy. It was like the biggest park or holiday. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people hold off to of like this one, just to because one. it's unknown. It's not yeah. like oh yeah, you get quad bike, you do this. Everyone's like, we don't know what it's. I gonna know be. that I'm gonna miss the quad bike. I'd never got to drive the quad bike, Very true, yeah. and I could have because I'm pretty sure Hendo and Jay or one of them just had a provisional. Yeah, and I yeah, had a provisional. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's risky, but they got off yeah. the quad and I didn't. But we'll. Be, um, well, I, I'm gonna be there because I've got. Go I and, want to. Go I've got to go and smash the onside qualifier as always. Um, but no, I mean, just to run over a couple of the interesting things. So the only person from previous Art Motions who is already qualified, because normally they take like the top six or whatever, mm-hmm. then they do online and on-site. They're only taking Titarenko, blue shorts. Christian, who won Air, Air Whip, is getting through. And then the winner of NAPC, could be Nate, uh, goes through. And then the winner of the Lion City Gathering, because they're holding a competition apparently, they go through. They've also increased the amount of women who are allowed to compete. Um, so there's more cool. more online spots and more on-site spots, which is, yeah, really cool. Um, on the Frank podcast, they were saying that some people are like, oh, well, it's not fair because there's more guys who should be able to get through and therefore blah, 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 blah. And it's like, well, fuck's sake, like there's there's a people are fighting for a level of equality here. Like we, yeah. as much, it, it's not at the stage yet where Red Bull could do its own independent girls competition but at mm. least they're trying to like do something for sure um i think it's kind of good i know unfortunately that nate didn't couldn't go for free well but i think it's quite good that they're because all the winners because it just gives other people it's a complete refresh yeah exactly like you don't know who's gonna because because there's no been, one there's been times alex was yeah exactly Alexander and there's Franco. been times where like somebody might win the year before I don't know, like Corey, for example. Yeah. And then within that next year, like a lot happens. And then like he comes back and doesn't even have, like doesn't even get close to winning because Mm -hmm. the levels change, the styles change. So like maybe it will make, you know how you're saying like Corey won and then nothing kind of happened or whatever. Maybe it will kind of change that a tiny bit because when you win, it might be a bit of of a bigger deal because you'll be the only one invited back from that. Oh no, but I think that's just this time. Oh really? So next yeah, time I, th- I think be. it's just because there's been this year's gap. I would oh. assume if they do another one next year, then maybe mm-hmm. they'll take it. I don't know. I, I don't, could be wrong. It could just be changing a lot. Of I things. know nothing. Yeah. But yeah, so that's happening early October. The official dates have not been released yet. Um, and I mean, I'm 99 percent certain I know when they are because Mac Daddy G's got his fucking <laughs> when's uh, his ear to the ground. When's Lion City then? Because I didn't know September. That but what's fly crazy? <laughs> the what? I said, fly us out. Yeah, just you know, please. We'll, do, we'll sit on the sidelines talking. Mm-hmm. Um, what is crazy is yeah, August twenty fourth is when on site closes. So normally there's months of I don't like know where the on sites will be. Oh, sorry, I said online. Uh, um, oh no, you no, you said on site meaning online. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. 
but yeah, there's a huge, a really short window of time for like people to submit and also for like, I don't know, for Nate to book a ticket if he wants to go to the on-site because you don't want, August 24th is when on-site, on, ah, oh, da online closes Mm -hmm. but maybe the judging takes a couple of weeks so then you're into september and then it's at the start of october so if you're a u.s person and you're like no shit yeah you know what i mean the book's so late well you're like you're like you're like you want to wait to see if you've got through or not or you book a ticket and wait and then find out you got through and then you booked a ticket anyway exactly and you've probably booked like the cheapest ticket and they'll be like nah sorry you can't cancel and you're like oh fuck i just threw away hundreds of dollars well that's annoying yeah so i think this year might be a little bit interesting with international athletes mm-hmm. i reckon there'll be some who just like can't commit yeah but what i was saying where's the on site's gonna be Have i have no said? idea i it doesn't say i okay from jason's video about the course maybe on the course like they, they used true. to do it did they used to do it on the course no they used to do it at the church well they did last time when i was at santorini they didn't do it they did that the at the art gallery yeah yeah um, which is kind of cool I, I like it in a separate yeah there might be somewhere separate yeah also i said this to milo the other day i don't know why i've never thought about this because it's so obvious but uh when we were like there's not really any big street comps art emotion is a street comp like it's outside it's not in a gym very true yeah like i don't know what it Maybe just I because think, it's run by Red Bull and it's so official, it doesn't seem like yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, it's like... I think it's, it's not street, but it is, because it's that is the form of the street. Although this time, Jason said they're building a lot, because all those roof yeah. tiles, they've got to, like... Good point. And I think also, yeah, like, street comp should be, like... The spot. And the you should be able to, like, be able to walk into the... Like, maybe there might be somebody being like, hey, mate, stand back, stand back. Like, this guy's mm. trying this, but it shouldn't be like... Exactly, yeah. Media are here. Anyone who actually cares about parkour doesn't get a good viewpoint, and you can fuck off yeah. up the hill. Like... <laughs> And all of this. Mm. Um, but no, I, I am always excited for Art Motion. I, I think know, it's saying What and we should do, The vibe of it right? is always so fun. Get an Airbnb, bring, the, bring the, the microphones, and in the downtime, we like go... You can bring in people as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, and we're like, hey, Nate, good to speak to you a couple of months ago. Hey, nice abs. Like, you're looking sweaty. And then we like, sort of, how's, how's training going? I saw you doing a, a swing gainer earlier. Is that, is that what you're going to be putting in your final run? And Yeah, it'd be wicked. Mm. I'd enjoy it. Maybe Red yeah. Bull could employ us. Oh, imagine go and that. interview people. Yeah. Imagine that. That'd be so cool. We can have those mics where you like hold them up to your mouth like football guys. And, we're like, I like those. and then you do this. Yeah, you yeah. Move it from person to person. All right. Well, there you go, Red Bull. Doubt they even listen to anything. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think this. Well, I don't know who's on the who's on the Red Bull team like for parkour. Not team as in like sponsored, but like. Surely parkour people are setting it up. I know Jason's involved with the course. Jason has been... Nico is um, from... Uh, blah, 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 from... Nico... Um, Will, Will, Will check. I.e. from Ape Connection. Okay. I don't think I know him, no. But. Okay, Nico and a couple of other guys from that kind of thing. Nico's been involved in hugely mm-hmm. all, all the way through. He's, he's basically been the main guy. I don't know if he listens. If you do, Nico. Love you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, so, so Red Bull sponsored athletes... Uh, DK is apparently sponsored by Adidas. Yeah, that's how I don't understand how I missed that one. I mean, let me just dig up his Instagram because it was a. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Why I'm not excited because surely I should be like, oh wow, they're sponsoring free runners. Like, yeah, well, there's there's a couple could, of points that here. Means that other is, people could be sponsored, but it's just I don't. Yeah, big announcement. Just sign with Adidas. Ad, oh, Adidas ambassador. Uh, Adidas Greece. Different. Maybe one because it's Adidas Greece, so it's easier to like. If it was in Adidas, the same UK. way that like people get sponsored by like Red Bull, like DK sponsored by Red Bull Greece, yeah. where not like Red Bull International and things. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to shit on DK. No, he's a fucking did, he's a, actually incredibly talented so guy. good, and his parkour skills are actually really good. His concrete, yeah. Fat. It's just I thought maybe they'd pick up on someone who's kind of new and up. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but that's some some brands don't like to do that. Some brands like. Like Red Bull, like the Rising Star. Some brands like the Safe Bet. Yeah. And I guess DK DK's. in some ways is a Safe Bet because he's I always. I feel like I've seen much content from him recently. Though. No, I, that, yeah, that's kind of more the thing that surprises me. It's yeah. like he's generally a Safe Bet when it comes to competition, but I don't feel like I feel like he maybe is approaching like near the not the end of his competition period because no. I feel like everyone gets a few years where they slay yeah. and then they slowly fade. And I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It just happens. No. Um, I don't know. It it surprised me they went for DK, but I guess if it is red uh, Adidas Greece, it's also really interesting to see that Adidas have actually taken a step towards. 
I want to see more it's, companies like that supporting parkour because they have the money to. I mean, we've spoken about them. this so much before. Like, yeah, I do it, and I don't because it's, yeah, of course there's bad things, but if yeah. anything, if it supports DK so he can train more without having to like get another job, then that's fucking cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and of course he's already on Red Bull too, so yeah, he's, he's doing he's doing he's doing all right. Yeah. He's ri- li- like that's in Red Bull. Living the DK the the cream the cream the cream. No. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> all right, should we get onto the fatty? Yeah, I think this is probably the biggest topic. Uh, it's not even controversial because the guy's just a fucking idiot. I'm not even going to hesitate in saying that. I reckon from saying that, everyone who like, listens no. is like, oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Or, yeah, what you were going to say. Matey. No, he's, okay. no, he's, no, he's, he's a great guy. He's really safe, really. No, he's not. He's a fucking idiot. Matey yeah, well, I got so confused runs along the edge of a roof. I Okay, so this is what we were going to say earlier. And then me and Keelan always have these conversations where we're like, we start talking, we're like, we should hold this back for the podcast. Yeah. I saw it first. Pasha shared it. That's where I saw it. Yeah. And I thought he did like two strides and then he fell into the gap and landed on the, the wires. Okay. Is that what you thought? I thought maybe he just ran into it. Well, he did. Yeah. This. So how? You, I've, like, I've now gone through it frame by frame because I downloaded it because I was because I think Toby commented and was like, how did you not see the wires? And in my head, I was like, well, he fell onto them like... If they were below him, it I wasn't. Think, I think it was low. The wires was low. No, they're not. This but, is the crazy thing. Oh, is it just... I thought maybe, like, his feet were going to hit it and he just freaked they're out. They're, like, I don't know, maybe knee height? Maybe even higher. But there. surely, like... Oh, frame by just, frame, he goes... He uh, runs... Come here. Do you think, mate... Hit, yeah. So, look, he's running there. And that... Because, basically, this that guy... step looks awkward. Look at that. Look at the step. Well, because he, he goes... Look, he, he goes left foot, he goes right foot, look, and he obviously that. sees them there and freaks. Oh, shit. They're, like... And they're, like by his waist and he grabs them and then he splats and then he's like hanging on the thing that really freaks me out or confuses me is I don't know where the fuck the wires are attached to like are they are they just going down to the ground (laughs) like from the ground to the top of the building it is ridiculous someone managed to capture that on camera it's fucking insane that he survived imagine if it was if it was filmed from it being in his mouth and he managed to keep it in that whole time you know, like POV. Oh, because I feel yeah. like it must be on his head or something. I don't know. Maybe he's just biting hard. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'd be panicking so much, not worrying yeah, about so, the GoPro. So just to rewind, I mean, I'm, I'm sure everyone has now seen this clip. Mm-hmm. The reason I'm so fucking just clear cut calling him an idiot because this guy has just 100 percent not checked the path he is running. Yeah. Like, this is not a case of oh, he's running along a ledge and he slips and he falls and he catches himself on some wires. Like, that could happen to Callum Powell. There is some strides that I've, Callum did in Roof Culture that I can think exactly the same thing. Like, if that happened and there were wires there and he catches himself, yes, he shouldn't be up there in the first place and all of this, but, like, there was an accident and then there, he, he saved himself from the accident. This guy is running across a roof, clearly on a path that he has not checked. Yeah. And there are wires at waist height. Which means not once did he walk that route and go like, sort of, oh, like, I want to stride these. Let me check all the surfaces and make sure they're all safe. Let me check the fucking panelling is bolted on properly. There's yeah. no puddles, any well, of that you, shit. You'd know the best because you were on set for Roof Culture Asia. Well, you and you see, you see how much, like, preparation goes into it. Like, sure, th- that must be the easiest thing to spot. Oh, there's a wire in front of my jump. Has he not stood there and, like, had a look at the park? I reckon him and his mate are bopping around on a rooftop and he's got a GoPro in his mouth and that's probably a much longer clip and he just, like, his mate... Because you can see him at the start of the video. His mate's, like, on the other side of the roof. Mm -hmm. Because if his mate had walked that path and if he knew it was happening, then he would have, like... If he'd been like, oh, you go over there, I'm going to do this, Mm -hmm. the mate would have seen it. Yeah. I reckon they're up on a building exploring, doing some bullshit... And he's just like hopping around and do it, being like, "Oh yeah, just, I'm a casual rooftop yeah, guy." Yeah, doing it as I'll yeah. just do these easy corner strides because I mean, face it, corner strides are fucking piss because you can basically cut them as close yeah, as possible course. as you want. I mean, what? I fuck? hate, I hate anyway the material of the yeah, I hate the cladding. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. the clattering. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> feel like it's fully on there. No, but some guy messaged me. Well, a, a number of people messaged me. So many people were like, "Oh, this is fake," and I was like, it's, "Unless that guy's harnessed up on his back," which I incredibly doubt he is I don't think it's fake it's I can't see how it's fake and also they're like uh, they're like oh he's he's now getting loads of followers off of it and I'm like well he's kind of well I, I, maybe he wouldn't post it if he's got any kind of he doesn't want to be called an idiot by yeah. us or anyone else um, 
but he's gonna post it like if if he's the type of guy to go up there and try that shit without checking it in the first place of course he's gonna post it and yeah he's gained like twenty thousand followers but really in the longevity of it it'll be hard for that guy to like turn that around and get respect well also to keep it up like what's he gonna do climb small roofs and fall on purpose yeah exactly to get like, more views, the normal like, content he put like he, he posted something where he's like standing on a ledge and mm-hmm. then he back handsprings away from the edge but he posted it reversed so it looks like he forward handsprings onto it oh wait so that's the same guy yeah so he posts that kind of shit okay because like, someone showed me that i think i can't remember and i was it was so obviously reversed but they didn't even know i was like yeah that's reversed. yeah yeah so that's like, the kind of no like way. bait shit he posts yeah. um just don't fucking do that oh, shit. It annoys like, me that there's people that are associated with parkour. Well, this is the problem. And they do this. Yeah. It does annoy me. If he dies, oh, yes, it's tragic. He died. But at the end of the day, like, unless you are in his close circle and you know him, like, there's only so much. It, this sounds savage, but yeah. a death on the other side of the world is, is hard to comprehend unless... Do you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, of course. It's that thing. However, if that death impacts a sport that is is sort of and, and has a negative impact on a sport that is is done by t- hundreds of thousands of people and things yeah that's that's awful um mm-hmm. wait that sounds so weird like i'm not trying no. to say the guy is irrelevant and his death doesn't matter like it's tragic but no but it's, it's for just me, anyone involved with the sport if they if something tragic happens to them and they're not doing parkour but it's kind of like, wait, well, they're, they're doing something that gives, if he, if he that died gives parkour in a... a bad name anyway. And he does that. It's just, it's so hard for the sport to move on from that, from an outsider's perspective, I think. Yeah, yeah. From it, like the news and the things. negative kind of connotations like of that's it. What pe- that's what the muggles impactful. are going to hear. Exactly. For a while, they're going to have that in their brains. Like if you meet someone, they're going to be like, oh yeah, did you hear about that guy who like died falling off a roof? And you'll be like, yeah. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. And, and, that. and that, I mean, that guy clearly does what, the majority of us would consider parkour or free running like he's not yeah, just, yeah. he's not a rooftopper because no, it has been like he's striding and there was also that the guy in handspring thing exactly there was that guy in like Asia who hung off the thing and like was trying to do the pull ups and then couldn't pull himself like he hung off to like get a, sh- a video do you remember this I think and so yeah and he couldn't pull himself up and then fell to his death and it was like and he didn't it was obvious he didn't have the strength to pull himself up in the first yeah. place kind of thing so probably not a free runner exactly whereas this is like legitimately linked to the sport Ah, it's just fucking like if just rethink your shit at the end of the day if you die you die you're like you fucked up your entire life you've wasted it just Mm -hmm. dying doing that and also the negative impact you've left behind is just if you enjoy parkour and you respect it that you should respect this sport more than your own fucking instagram likes yeah of course that's like you should have enjoyment through it if Instagram didn't exist. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, fuck your fucking internet clout. I don't even know what clout really means. But. <laughs> I don't know, properly. I mean, this sounds like a, it's gone kind of into negative vibes, but it is just... I mean, it is, though, isn't it? Yeah, like, but it, it's... It, I don't know. Yeah, I just I find it very hard to respect that kind of thing. And this is the thing, that because I, I, when I say that, I'm like, well, what if, what if that happened to Callum? Or someone like this, and I'm like, they would check the the, the environment. At oh, the yeah, end of they, the day, they... if you are neglecting to check that environment, then it's your own fault. Yeah, of course. And uh, free runners are all, all, they're always going to go on rooftops. Like it's yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, thing. Yeah. It's just it's just going to happen. Um, There's no saying don't go on rooftops. It's no, gonna happen. it's just I think people need to. You have to fucking respect yourself, and like, they also just need to be ready. Like I feel like a lot of people get into parkour early, and the the thing that they see parkour is yeah it's going to be like oh it's jumping on roofs and they want to, they're dying to do that first yeah yeah uh, it's so weird like i remember when we did roof culture like people speaking to me and they're like because obviously that is a thing that happens kids yeah. and parents and it's like i want to go on roofs and then it's like well now there's this huge production that's just come out that as much as it is like this sort of test of 10 years of training and blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, it glorifies rooftop training. Yeah, like, it's going like to inspire, no so, inspire yeah. so many people, yeah. And it's, yeah, it's a, tr- it's a really, really tricky one. Like, um, Starry did a very good job of like w- balancing that film, I reckon. Yeah, Because I it could, so. it's it's incredibly controversial, but then they balanced it very well. So they like, they kind of gain respect from they both sides. They didn't make them look, they didn't look like daredevils or they didn't, yeah, look, they yeah, didn't yeah. look really kind of sketch or anything yeah um and the main film is like a behind the scenes of the film so yeah yeah exactly so um but yeah i don't know just fucking be careful out there i mean actually interestingly enough youtube now has a clause in its in its terms 
so this is why a lot of people have been demonetized. If you do what YouTube considers rooftoping, you get demonetized. So, and I reckon they probably like, I mean, we've got rooftop stuff on our channel, not a huge amount. I reckon you've got to be... You're like, you got to be, we should be okay. Well, it, I, you got to like be getting, based around it. And, and I reckon it's fairly big view counts. Like yeah. they're, they're looking for like the influential people. Um, it's a shame for stuff like cavemen though. Yeah, but I mean, it's not going to stop them doing it. It just means they can't earn off of it. No, I know, but it's just stuff like that is where they put in like months of hard work yeah. compared to like a one day video where you garper. Yeah, yeah, like somewhere and pose, you know. Yeah, very true. Uh, um, which is, but it's it's it is that is like the biggest proof that uh, not exactly urbex, but certain urbex individuals have fucked things up. Yeah, by definitely, because that never used to be a thing. Because I don't think there was ever really videos. Of people specific, specifically just climbing roofs and posing, yeah, and getting into trouble. Like, I think always. that's the thing. I think it is the fact that now there have been so many injunctions by big companies. Like there's been a lot of stuff in London with, I think Lloyd's, the yeah. built building and things. People getting injunctions of like, because in in the UK we have civil trespass, which is your typical like you could walk into my house and it's civil, and I basically have to tell you to leave before it becomes illegal. Mm -hmm. um, if these buildings like pass injunctions it means that if you step onto their property it Im immediately is illegal it's a little bit more complicated than that but that's kind of the yeah the general thing um and it's because of the kind of the alley laws and things where it's just you're baiting security to get fucking views and likes like yeah. you want the controversy you want to piss people off and yeah the madness will ever never end <laughs> until you get hit with fucking Oh, tens, fines. Ten, yeah, shitloads yeah. of fines. Anyway, let's pull this out of a negative hole. We are all pulling out survivors. On Thursday, we were skimmed by an asteroid. Really? Well, seven, 70,000 kilometers away. Okay, but, but it's that's still close. like, I think it's closer than us and the moon, technically, or like it's not that. It's crazy. I, so, I, I, it, so, wait, so if it's closer than the moon and if it's on the moon's side does that mean it could have fucked the moon up as well I, I could be wrong I saw like an animation I'm now going to try and look this up I screenshotted it I think Basically, shit like that scares me it, it wasn't detected until hours before it passed because there's been there's loads of asteroids that scientists know are like going to be close and then they're yeah. and they're like oh that will come past us in five years time and it gets to the top point and it's even further away than they expected and yeah. imagine being the scientist who like you know you're just like pop your have a look down the telescope or, and you're like oh fuck yeah. oh fuck, <laughs> oh, fuck. Five you're running minutes. calculations oh. you're like oh shit <laughs> like, who do you alert like uh, I'm Don't gonna look know. this up I need to find this on Twitter I wanna see this animation that's crazy but yeah so I, I mean it, would they would they really tell everyone if there was well that's the thing and that, would, they, would they cause mass panic if it was like an 80% chance an asteroid could clip the side of Earth yeah 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 exactly uh, and it would have it would have been an extinction level thing as well which is Would crazy it? yeah yeah, yeah. Um, hold up let me I'm gonna how scroll. does it make it an extinction level I guess it's size like the big enough thing is gonna create a fallout and a potential tsunami and whatever else comes with it um, that's so fucked so like even if it hits the opposite side of the world yeah it could because it, of just like it just turns into a Chernobyl nuclear just because also yeah it's, it's not just a case of like oh does it let out radiation and shit no no that was an exaggeration okay. I just mean like there would be this spread of dust and it would block out the sun and then animals and plants and things would die Fuck, it but would just be an apocalypse wouldn't also it? i mean imagine imagine there was one and then it white and then there's a tsunami and that tsunami then wipes out the power plants and then then you have radiation in the mix oh like, yeah well, yeah imagine is... all the world's power plants exploding at once yeah 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 all the world's nuclear weapons getting fucked hold up i have to find this fucking video because here we go wait that was thursday <laughs> yeah last thursday is that moving? It is moving. Okay. What one are we looking at? I don't know yet. Sorry, audience. This is shit. But what so my things? my day was um. What was it Thursday when it was really really hot? That day, you mean? That was last Thursday. Yeah, it must have been. I don't know where. Imagine if it was getting really really hot because this fucking burning asteroid was getting closer and closer. No one knew. Is it this white thing? What's that say? It says 2019. Okay. Yeah, the the asteroid had 2019 in it. So look, it fucking... Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah, yeah. So now you can see. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, so zooming in. And look. What? What? <laughs> we almost got fucking oh bodied. Oh, my gosh. 
and they didn't do know for that's, do you reckon hours. that's very accurate I don't know how accurate either way that's a f- fucking scare isn't it yeah 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 it was uh what that that is ridiculous oh okay hold up oh it okay it wouldn't have made us extinct 60 to 130 meters in diameter um larger than this one in 1908 which flattened over 2000 kilometers of forest if it had hit earth uh it could have wiped out an area four to five times the size in new york city so i guess it still could have oh it still would have been still would have done some i reckon it still would have been history if that happened oh yeah i don't think i don't think you can ignore that no no um it just depends what unlucky side of Earth it would hit. That's what I wanted to know. Yeah, 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 would, exactly. That's what everyone wants to know. Would I have been safe? You're like, oh, it landed in the middle of Siberia, whatever. Who cares? Yeah. You're like, lands in England, in I mean, Kent. Something's going to happen like that at some point, obviously. So. Well, I mean, the yeah, the moon actually attracts loads of um, smaller ones. That's why it's covered in... It's, uh, the moon acts as our little, yeah. our little gravity... Magnet yeah, around the sucker Earth, thing. sucking it all towards... But it is so weird, because, yeah, that day... I can't remember what I did, but it was just like dull shit. And yeah, it, same. Everyone, I think that day everyone was so just chilling, hot. right? It was so hot. And so, it, it brings into that whole thing of like, oh, live every day like it's your last. And you're like, shit. That day, if you, if, it, if, the earth, if you just suddenly saw an explosion in the distance and you're like, holy shit, the last day was just me lounging about, like literally not doing anything. <sighs> It'd be so annoying. Be so like, you're sweating, you've got sun cream in your eyes, you're all like clammy and just like already a bit like, oh, fuck this weather, like it's too hot. And then yeah. this wall of fire. <laughs> I'd just be pissed if like, I don't know. Actually, really interestingly, they had that thing in Hawaii uh, last year, two years ago, where this emergency signal that basically says <gasps> that. Do you remember yes, this? Yes, that's a panic. I saw that all over Instagram. People the King Blues, story. this sort of like uh, punk ska album, mm-hmm. ska band, they wrote a, a whole album just about that of telling different people's stories because some people like because i think they had like i think it was 38 minutes where this this siren was going off on their phones basically saying there are nuclear weapons coming like you're gonna die that was all they thought it was just like imminent missile attack like you're going to fucking die so some so horrible yeah yeah. actually so horrible i mean firstly i wonder how many people killed themselves oh my god secondly like some people fucking went and like told their wife they were cheating on them and shit some people obviously went and like told the person they had a crush on that they loved them even if they were married and stuff like that I can't believe I was just saying crush <laughs> people I guess like probably went and like I think uh, the t- I haven't listened to the whole album yet but committed think, probably horrible crimes yeah maybe Imagine some people just someone's like, I really yeah but someone's like really really hate this person like just yeah we're all gonna die anyway I'm blow their do. head off or whatever yeah. like rob a shop or something but I didn't really hear anything about any of that but maybe no, they but just didn't want to get any or, of that or maybe everyone was just like maybe none of it happened which would be really interesting maybe if everyone was just like oh fuck that's like the biggest social experiment that's ever happened <laughs> like let's just see what everyone government does government was like tee yeah and then no one does anything that's how bad the human well not bad but that's how dull everyone is everyone just sat there like fuck okay like if if <laughs> I mean they're in Hawaii they probably just were chilling like, oh, yeah if, lived our lives if my well. phone popped up right now and was like asteroid has just hit uh, France, you have 20 minutes before Southeast England is like wiped out. I don't know what I don't. I'd literally oh, I feel bad for you because I'd just go and sit with Sarah and Darwin. Yeah, I would be sad because I'm not with any of my family. Yeah, or anything. but also I feel like there'll be so much panicking. Where's the decision making? Like it would at least take 10 minutes for you to be like. I don't know where to go. Like, what what do I do? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd probably just go and divert all of my attention onto Darwin with Sarah and just, like, hug and deal with it and be like, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> While that's happening, I'm on your roof sobbing. Just yeah, like, us, finishing like. off the last drizzle of vodka that's in our <laughs> fridge. Like, To be fair, yeah, just everyone get drunk and that'll be great. Oh, yeah, you'd, I think you'd maybe just have to. Yeah, it would make you more like at least to just relax you a little bit. Yeah. Oh, what? what how, where the fuck's this podcast gone? I don't know, but to be honest, that I used to talk about stuff like that all the time because it's always interesting. It is crazy, like. Um, but I the, think. Mm, what were you gonna say? No, I was just gonna say the reason it's taken up so much time is because it's such a big thing. That's why because it's our Earth, and that could have. Like, well, and also I think a moment like up. that potentially, depending on where it. What the worst thing would be if you were stuck in the fallout? That would be that like Chernobyl, like oh you're gonna die, but in two years from like cancer from all the shit. Yeah, that would yeah. be the one that's and like oh loads of people are dying worse. around you. It's slow. It's shitty. That is not. It's 
it's almost like I mean it's not like a fucking what would you do if you won the lottery scenario but it's one of those scenarios where because it's so dramatic what would you do if you won the lottery scenario no, but do, you know, do you know the I scenarios know. that are so life changing that you yeah. like you sit and you can think about like all of that shit going on like yeah. I don't know I, I sit on planes sometimes and I imagine like what would happen if it started to crash and I'm terrified yeah. of that yeah. but I th- imagine scenarios about like where I would go like would I climb over the seats and all this shit it would be like yeah cool you got half an hour this tsunami waves coming or like a asteroid or whatever uh, they'll probably give um even though everyone's probably going to die they always give advice they're like seek seek shelter seek, yeah, yeah seek yeah. shelter but like i wonder if shelter is even the safest place like depends on where if, depends if there on was what, a fallout what it yes is. because it's, yeah. it's the shit in the air but if it's going to land on you it doesn't really fucking matter no like, but also if it's a tsunami like being in a house is probably going to break and fall on top of you like if it's <laughs> yeah i mean thankfully we're fairly on in, a hill in england we're well, actually, I guess if it landed in the fucking ocean, then we're fucked. But, um, mm. yeah, the world's crazy. Do you know what you do if this, if you see the sea? If you're ever, like, out in Sri Lanka or whatever and you see the sea fucking sucking away from you. What, re- like, lots? Like, like f- really fast? All the way out. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Do you mean big tsunami? tsunami. Yeah. So what happened when there was the big um, earthquake and then tsunami out in... I can't remember where it was. It was, like, Sri Lanka or something. Yeah, the big one. Yeah, right? yeah. the huge one. The sea, like, and there's, there's a fucking, there's a sick documentary about it. It's not sick. It's like, it's fascinating. It's very yeah, dark. Yeah. It, the sea gets sucked out like half a mile or something. And all these people like run to the beach and they're like, wow, this is crazy. Oh, and then basically no. like 20 minutes later, this giant wave thing comes in and kills everyone. They're the first people to There was go. this schoolgirl from like America, I think, who learned in her school class like the week before about this. And she saved like hundreds of people on this beach because she was like, everybody get the fuck away. Like, um... But yeah, that's a crazy one. I didn't. I, I'm glad I know that now because that is actually quite helpful knowledge. Yeah. Being on a beach and then it all sucking out because I probably would be like, be like oh, Whoa. this is weird, <laughs> and probably walk towards the sea. Like I oh, also I learned today that if a polar bear ever chases you, take off items of clothing and scatter them around. So like, I mean, basically you're fucked anyway because polar bears are lethal. Yeah, they're like the but worst type of bear, aren't they? If you if you basically like take off a jacket and throw it to the left and take off your shirt and throw it to the right they'll get distracted by that and smell it because they're not used to, like, animals shedding. They'll be like, well, the fuck's yeah. this, what well, the fuck's that? Like, they don't know that you're the... You're the animal. The prime target, yeah. yeah. So you have time to, like... Exactly. ...get away. You've seen that guy who get, got scratched on the side of the head, right? That was, a, like, a brown bear or something. Yeah, that's it? not polar bear, but yeah. it was, like, half open. Half, and he's, he's like, like heard the chilling. story of him. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's so crazy. It's, like, multiple... Well multiple times yeah like, it was like really. two or three times it attacked yeah, him and he, he was, was like it came back, back. <laughs> but, he st- but he survived that's the crazy yeah. thing oh. oh anyway parkour stuff yeah um, this is a parkour podcast, yeah jumps and things if you get attacked by a polar bear jump on it and do a flip I love that when you Stick you meet like a 12 year old and you're having a conversation I don't know you'd be at an after not an after party you love it when you meet a 12 year old no, no. <laughs> nice. You know, like, you're at a parkour event and you're sitting around and, like, you know, you've known the people for ages, so you're having normal conversations that aren't necessarily about parkour and you're yeah. discussing, like, what you would do if you came across a polar bear. Mm-hmm. And there's, like, some new kid on the block who, like, kind of wants to say, just they want to throw in anything. Yeah. And they'll be like, I, I'd do a gain of foot and kick it in the face. <laughs> Everyone's like, and you're like, oh, shut up. <laughs> no, it doesn't just Very have funny. to be parkour. I know. Um, that's all we talk about unfortunately it really is to a degree isn't it like the amount of times you're in a social we're all fascinated by it and we're all weirdos who love touching walls yeah with our body parts urban brick touching Mm. Um, new shirt releases we got written down we just dropped two new t-shirts to fill the gap between the the elusive soul destroyer that's slowly turning into Frang's the beach um yeah, they're, they're Did you ever see the beach? I've like, seen it. Yeah, you've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah, it so was just, it was created. It, it, it yeah, it was just like seventy percent of an edit, and it was just a standard for Ang. For like that. it wasn't anything special, but because they didn't release it for ages, it exactly. became a joke. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 yeah, it just it, it like was... popped up. I remember being young and before I even knew you, and it would pop up like you know the end screen you yeah, like customize yeah, yeah, yourself yeah. and it would be the beach it's like what do you want next they used and to everyone click the beach, beach. Like, please and it never came because I think they just didn't have enough footage or something yeah. but it was just like your standard well they had the temple oh, I think it was just called the, like the city the temple the beach yeah so they had yeah. loads of different things so it was going to come out they had like I remember in their shorts they had a label that you pull out and it said like where is the beach <laughs> stuff like that oh but, that's um, so funny anyway yeah new, re- yeah, new t-shirts because the Soul Destroyer being 
I did a really cool shot filming Max and I pulled focus and I was really proud of it. And then Max swore at the camera and I was like, fuck you, man. Yeah, Don't swear. At- you probably were like, yeah. Don't swear at me. I'm putting that on a t shirt. <laughs> that isn't what I thought. No, but when, yeah, usually with stuff like that, it's like, oh, that's cringy, but that was fucking sick because that, the thing he did was. I'm really still cool really well. unsure whether or not it's cringy. Like putting it on a no, shirt. No, I don't know. Like, I- has that just increased the For some reason, factor. I feel like Max is. Well, I don't know. Sometimes the Snapchats that he sends in, if he's, it can be. Well, anyone can be cringy, but like, I, think I feel like he, us, he, in that moment, it was like kind of all right. It was pretty gangster, yeah. yeah. And also because I think we had people walking fast as well. Yeah. It was every like, time we didn't, they're like, oh! It was a fucking fat Kong free off a rail that you can't see from that angle, hence no. why I only released that clip. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird because I think for it, like, Max swearing because we know Max and it's like, young max yeah so kinda, it's kind of funny <laughs> but, but i reckon time, if you're like 14 and you live in france you're like he's a fucking bad yeah. man <laughs> turning into voldemort halfway through a kung fu yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. face blur mm. um no that t-shirt's sick and the other one of uh robbie robbie doing really a cool. lovely line that we won't once again show the full thing of but mm-hmm. the uh what are they the mkp t-shirt and the rgd because i was needing to like do the product skews and i was asking the guys like what the fuck are we calling these t-shirts and no one responded for 24 hours so i just put in As like usual. i was like oh it's a max compri and a robbie griffith descent so i just put those in and then we i just can, never changed yeah. it <laughs> i mean i don't know most of the things like videos or t-shirts or anything you always ask for like what should we name it i think and you, it will always be you who then names it you're most notoriously of the time, I'll just be like, like oh, blank I yeah i just never know even if you ask me in person what to yeah 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 I like alliteration normally. I'm always like... I try with alliteration, but like... People precisioning properly. <laughs> like that. Couldn't even come up, come up with one <laughs> that quickly. But, but yeah. Um, yeah, I've seen some some Prodcast 10 uh, discount codes being used, so carry on using those. But also use the athlete ones, because then they can actually earn a pretty penny. I haven't plugged mine in a very long time. You probably should. There you go. What's yours? Yeah. TMP Keelan 10? TMP Clellan Clen. Yeah, please don't say that because people will try and spell it in. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, Robbie, shit. <laughs> Robbie for so long gave out the wrong discount. He gave out like Robbie TMP 10. And there were like loads of people it's trying always to Always TMP it. first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TMP Keelan 10. That's all it is. Yeah. Any, for any of the athletes, right? Apart from some of them probably aren't their names. Uh, some of them I think it's just ones. Johnson is J Doge. J Doge. Or J Dog. J Dog. I don't know. Don't, yeah. don't listen to this. And do no it. one knows how to spell Johnson. Ask him. Anyway. Um, but yeah, in, enjoy those shirts. Thank you for the people who bought them so far. Continue that because, as I said somewhere, we need money to keep things running. Of course. Unfortunately. That's per use. Yeah. Um, and now on to the next section. What? We're swapping out Music Minute and we're doing book reviews. Keelan, up first. Book reviews. Oh, yes. You know how much I read. We're not actually. Are we? Yeah, I know, of yeah. course, because I, I, I it was this this whole thing was basically I was in the gym the other day and I was thinking about a book and then I was like, I don't think Keelan reads books. No, actually I wanted to start well, I tried reading one fiction book. One which was word. Yeah, one word of it. No, I got like near to the end of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is such a small book anyway. Well it, it's quite a I wacky it. book though. Like I, to I, read. No, but I really enjoyed it, but I just I've seen the movie, so it was kind of I thought that was a good idea. No, like, no, oh, like no, no, yeah, no, yeah. no, it definitely wasn't. But I want to give a go at fiction. Give no, sorry, non-fiction. I fucking... Because like you probably have oh, a lot of God, ones. wait, I never. I still don't know the difference. Fiction is fake. Fic- fiction's like story, like, yeah, fake. And non... Oh, so you want non-fiction? I'd like to do because I never tried. Like, See, when I've, I was younger, I did, like... But it has to be something interesting that I'm interested yeah, in. Yeah, I struggle with non-fiction. I mean, I've read certain non-fiction books, like, kind of... I don't know, Alex Honnold's book and things like this, but that's because there's an interest. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. I, I can't... I mean, then I can blindly go into things, but I, I'm not like... Some people can happily just be like, reader, really. oh, I know nothing about physics, but I'm going to read this really interesting physics book. Yeah. And I'm not actually that interested in it, but I'm going to read it. And I'm like, what the fuck? How? How? I want to read about... I read a lot of... Like, it's weird because I don't... I always see books in here that are non-fiction. I have probably some... just more helpful books that you're not sitting down every night and reading chapters. Yeah, I got business ones that I occasionally pull out and go through, and some like streetwear and oh, sorry, kick the microphone, streetwear and fashion ones and stuff like this. Yeah, um, I probably read a lot of like crime and stuff. Do I you have... read now? Do you not have as a much. You're reading. I have a Kindle. Um, I haven't read. You have all... a Kindle. Yeah, so I got it from years ago, so I can read at night. But I haven't actually read in a while because. Mm. 
Instagram. I never really, yeah. Nowadays, I don't I don't find time where I'm like, I could be reading because mm. I'm just doing something. And most of the time, I'm not the gonna gaps lie. are filled up with phone use and it's I'm terrible. I'm fucking loving podcasts. Like, yeah, I, I now, tried getting onto them and I just keep the, not doing the it. The dog walk and now, because I'm going to the gym and I don't like listening to music when I'm lifting because it, for some reason, like makes things worse. I listen to podcasts and actually, because Tom Taylor recommended that to me. What podcast while lifting? Yeah, because I used to, I mean, obviously I like my heavy music and I'd go and, and like, it would almost like get you too amped. Does and it I'd get like, you too amped and like between songs, you're just trying to find the perfect song? Because for me, I'd feel like I'd be like, yes, pumped on this song and then the next song comes on and then I spend time like changing it to the next no, one. No, well, so I don't think it happens as much anymore because I think my body's got used to lifting. But when mm. I first started, however many weeks or months ago, things like deadlifts would give me that kind of like post lifting head rush which for me would then very quickly turn into anxiety because i'd be like whoa this feels weird and then i'm standing in a gym sweaty and my head's spinning and i'm like oh am i gonna faint and it becomes an anxious thing yeah and and if i'm listening to like because you're like yeah i'm lifting i'm a big strong man and then you're still listening to that while you're going yeah exactly and tom was like podcasts or audiobooks and i tried it and it's fucking amazing yeah and now i just listen to like business podcasts or like the that drummer podcast i, I was actually. gonna say i'd, I'd want to start listening to the drummers one yeah because yeah. fucking shout out straight to the, the, path. the downbeat is a podcast uh hosted by this guy called craig reynolds who is the drummer from straight to the path straight to the path straight straight from the path <laughs> i always feel like i'm gonna mess up those two words yeah in yeah and it is a very entertaining podcast that is half drum talk, half music talk, an extra half of bullshit. bullshit. He's a wacky person anyway. You introduced me and to I his know, Instagram yeah. stories and they're always funny. I know nothing about drums, but for some reason I find it fascinating. Like, you probably know more now, don't you? Yeah, I know a little bit. Yeah. I don't know like half the shit they talk about, but it's... But also, both of us are instrumentless, so maybe we should start yeah, yeah, learning yeah. together when we're sitting down Very watching true. television, which we... Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, wait. Do you know what I, Rather than watching a film tonight... We've got two guitars. We can jam. Let's actually make music. It would turn into just a mixture of... Oh, or, shit. When are you going to oh, buy a beat yeah. pad? When I've got money. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah. I do. I actually do want to, because yeah. that sounds like the closest thing to what I'd... Beat pad would definitely be fun. Yeah. Um, I was going to make a suggestion, right? Mm-hmm. I think you can see it there. Yeah, I know. I did not, see that. Not this week, but... this, what, this to is to, like, like, swap out? We could well, do is... alternative things. Alternative, that's not the right what yeah, word, is yeah. it? Like Alternate, one, yeah, yeah. One week that, one week this, one week that. We could. This one will require a lot more preparation. Maybe not, yeah, no, yeah. But I was going to say, maybe not for the first Well, time. only because, right, I had this idea. So what I've, what I've got written down here is movie minute. Because obviously music minute, we're getting a little bit ropey. Like we it's should beca- definitely, it's we need because to do it this we're not, I know we listen to a lot of new music. You can only find so many new artists. It's not like every week I'm jamming to like, I don't find a new artist and then that whole week yeah. learn about them completely. Like, exactly. It, it's, it's And also, like, I don't particularly want to dig up old music like, oh, do you remember Sum 41? Yeah, like, or yeah. Linkin Park, they've exactly. got a tragic story. Like, everyone fucking knows that shit. Like, it's better it's to... finding music that you know no one will know about as well, so that's hard. Because then it feels like you're adding more value. Yeah. So I, I was thinking after the 20th week, which is this yeah. one, which is insane that we've been doing this for 20 weeks, we could do Movie Minute. But mm-hmm. here's the catch. How you have to catch? talk for a minute about your movie, but you're not allowed to say the title of it. Oh, and then I shit. I have to guess the title. Oh, and shit. Keelan's trumped. Literally. Oh, by the way, average age of pop lyrics is apparently about six to seven in reading years. You know, like you have like your reading thing. So what like, if you were to read the lyrics? You, where the way it's written is like that's the, like the reading age of like a six to seven year old for like generic pop, but it's apparently also the same age as uh, Trump's tweets. So like he writes Why'd his you put same safe. I obviously spelt it. I think I ought to correct or whatever. <laughs> same safe. Same Trump safe. tweets. <laughs> but he so he obviously tweets at like the level of a fucking five or six year old. Of course, which is amazing. Sorry, Americans. Oh, we got Boris. Trump's listening. <laughs> we got Boris now, so we're fucked anyway. Yeah. But um, I don't know. Could that be cool? Do a movie minute? I 100% agree. Because I was just getting quite... When Music Minute comes up, I well, obviously, they fucking created I mean, that, a game when we 
aren't prepared for Music Minute. It needs a lot of homework, the movie thing, to do it without the title because you need to know the film and also you've got to make it like... But there's so many... There's endless films. I know there's endless music as well, but... You know I'm, I mean? Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Like, Jurassic Park, you'd be like... Yes. There's people, they go to an island, there's a science lab, and some eggs, and then they had, And it would be... Ah, oh, but is that... Maybe that makes it too much of a game and maybe it would be better just to talk about how sick of a film, like, the film is. Because then you're, like, hiding this weird veil yeah, of, like... Yeah, good point. But maybe we do... But I like the idea of what you what, what you thought of. <laughs> could be fun. You could do, like, them together, kind of. Yeah, maybe. We won't do it this week because it requires a bit of homework. Yeah, maybe, definitely. okay, next week, let's trial it. We'll trial we'll it. We'll trial it and we'll see. You and me need to hit heavy with our favourite, like, the one we can really go big on. Yeah, of course. Oh, actually, I've already got it. I'm nailed. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking set. What, with movie? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Only because I just thought the funniest link that isn't necessarily true but could be true. Um, Mad. Mod. Mod fun. Mod. We're going to nail the hour if we can get mu- Music Minute done. Extra app. Oh, that was that other thing I was talking to you about. But we'll oh. avoid that now. Um, <laughs> Just sorry, me reading the notes. <laughs> the always show interesting. Notes I scribble down before I can see them. It's always a surprise. I feel like this one's been a bit, mm. a bit all over the place. Yeah. If anyone ever is wondering who's behind most of the podcast, it is Giles. I come up here and speak, but all the notes are usually well, I done. I sit in the gym and re- 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 like. I, uh, fuck, you I brainstorm keep... and then you ask like oh what should we do do you have any like topics you I'm think we could do and, I, and I'm like uh, yeah maybe but yeah. most of the time yeah Giles does all the hard work unfortunately but it, yeah I just <laughs> I just also realised I keep fucking saying that I'm going to the gym but I think it's because I'm not doing anything else at the moment wait I mean, what, what do you mean like, well, I, that's keep be, your... I keep being like I was in the gym doing this I went to the gym and oh, I did you th- this you think that people were going to think I'm some gym you're dickhead that, you're like oh well, I was at the gym you know like, I, yeah it, yeah yeah it doesn't sound I think like it's that. because I'm either sitting at home or I'm there and when I'm writing the notes for the podcast I'm usually I mean you were and... saying that we don't leave Kent that often I know anymore. yeah yeah <laughs> uh, oh well we're going to Brighton on Thursday guys fucking Brighton I remember when that used to feel so far away and then felt close because I used to go out all the time and now it feels far away again now we've become recluses yes um we're going to fuck the hour now. We've wrecked it. Oh, we wanted you wanted exactly an hour. Well, we didn't need it. By the way, shout out to Marrero gang. They literally just dropped uh, a very entertaining video that kind of takes the piss out of parkour POVs. Yeah, I was going to say about that and we were going to talk about I don't know why it. I just thought about that. But no. the, the role teleporting thing actually had me laugh, like hard laughing. Like he brought, oh, fuck. It was, the, it was the man at the start that made me laugh. Yeah, Because he, yeah, yeah, he was yeah. like, oh, shit, boys. And he's like, no, 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 don't run. <laughs> yeah, he was like, no, no, no. He, he was like, you don't have to run. <laughs> <laughs> he like teleports into the supermarket then rolls backwards and, and then, then rolls, rolls back and he's like oh okay I get it and then he rolls into a fucking lift door like oh it made me chuckle yeah Marrero like, gang have a good brain don't they a very good brain yeah. Kieran and, and Greg and people are very very funny thank you for that one we actually are in talks with them at the moment to put together a little ditty I yeah. say little it could be quite a big video actually mm-hmm. but it won't I mean this could be a fucking months and months down the line but we've we, Either way, I'd really like to we do, want to do videos something with them. Because comedy based. They are funny. Um, but yeah, should we jump on to this, this music minute? I was going to wait. I was waiting for you to say that. I, li- I this. You know, usually I'm like, oh, I'm not prepared. Are you, are you ready to slay it? Well, no, no, no. Th- this is the opposite. Usually I say I'm not prepared, but really I kind of know who I'm doing. This week. Oh, you're totally fucked it. This week I have no clue, which might actually be the best thing ever because I'm not overthinking it. I have two. And I kept flicking back and forward between both of them. And I've there we go, that's the one I'm gonna go. Shall I shall I do um, it? You should definitely go first. Okay. Uh, I'll go in two, one. So the band I'm gonna talk about is The Armed, and it is the music that I use for that kind of hectic teaser of the new t-shirts where Max swears at the camera. And Ooh. they're basically a wall of fucking noise. They could be considered to be similar to, like, I guess, like Rolo Tomasi and people like that. They're kind of one of those bands that's so heavy, not all the time, but the vocals like blend in. There's not, they're not like one of these bands where the vocals are hugely separated. They have been around for years from looking at them. Uh, They give away all their music for free. They've got this mentality of like, it's art, everything in life is art, fuck it, like, nothing matters, it's all art. They played at 2000 Trees recently and had a bake sale in the middle of their set while there's people, like, 
<laughs> moshing and shit. Sick. They released a song where there's people in ghillie suits skating and Tony Hawk like oh, put it on his Instagram. That yeah, band. you show me that. I'm going to just carry on talking because there's another thing that they did where yeah. they stole some uh, bits of music from an old Frank Turner song and incorporated it into that song with the skateboarding thing. They it's always do how this cr- all links up because you told me yeah. each individual thing about this band. And but now you know it was, uh, yeah. They do these crazy music videos, but so they 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 stole they they found these old samples from a Frank Turner song that they didn't have permission to use. Maybe this was a publicity stunt because maybe they maybe he did maybe they did, they, yeah. but they used them. And he then was like, "Guys, this isn't on." So then they made the song that they used them in. They called it uh, "Feet Frank." Frank Turner, i.e. Frank Turner, but then they used Frank Carter from uh, Gallows on the album cover. So they just did this yeah. like completely fucking weird shit. But 99% of you will not like the music because it is literally just a wall of like... Yeah. But it's not like... I'm just talking for ages. But no, no, but yeah, but it's it's just it's not interesting. Like, Fucking the devil. Yeah. It's just... It's like a... It's, it's just a wall of noise. I do think that sometimes when I because when I was listening to Straight from the Path on the way here, I was like, I forgot how much I enjoy this. Yeah. But like to other people, it's just they either just really don't get it or they get it. It's I think so I hard mean Straight to... from the Path, there's a lot to get. No, yeah, but from I think after you've been it's listening aggressive. to heavy music for a while, you get toned down to like that doesn't feel very heavy anymore. No, but there are moments in that song where it literally breaks down to just drums and it's like Yeah, yeah. But like if I just literally turn that on in my car and yeah. some, you know but like, like they're gonna be sitting it's, they don't have anything to do with it. That literally is a wall of noise. Yeah. The fucking um, what do you call it? You know the the like peaking just that, must be just it's flat. just a block. It's just no, a flat block. It's just a yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, block yeah. Yeah. thing. Yeah, but they they have a, a massive man as one of their vocalists, a big hairy guy, and then this like little lady. She's like kind of they're, they're, is that that woman? That yeah, and they're hear. so contrasting. If you follow them on Instagram, they like put up clips of her just like going like. <laughs> screaming into the mic when they're like recording songs and things. Wow, where are they from? Um, somewhere in America. But yeah, they're crazy. Like, yeah. Anyway, that was music three minutes. That was pretty good. I mean, they're an interesting one. They're like they're more interesting than aesthetically pleasing to listen to. I don't think aesthetic is the right word there, but they're um, well. You had a lot of like facts about them, which makes them like an interesting band. Uh, yeah, like, and their mu- <clears throat> their music videos like with the gay and it's suits. high production shit. Like, yeah, it's really cool. I very very rarely listen to them properly, but I find myself like drawn to like listening to a song and then maybe reading a bit about them because I'm like, yeah. what the fuck are these guys <laughs> like? Exactly. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Here we go. I might as well hit it on the twenty five and. Go. Oh, uh, so the last week I did uh, the Chemical Brothers, and alongside that album, I was listening to Uncle's album. The artist uh-huh. is Uncle. Cool. Ha- what is that first word? Oh my god! Yeah, that's peasants. Peasants. P S P S Y E N C E. Fiction. Um, released in 1998. I basically have heard one song from this per- uh, from this band or person. I don't know. Called Uncle, which was. What? Sorry, carry on. Yeah. I'm just reading the title again. Which was Rabbit in Your Headlights. And I was like, do you know what? I'm going to go and skip to their oldest album on Spotify just to see what they were kind of like. I like doing that to see how they were yeah. born, if you if you must. And ev- I think every song is completely different and sounds sometimes like they're made in a garage, which is kind of cool. Which they probably are. Yeah. Um, like it starts with literally just like, sounds like raw drums, just fucking really, really crazy. And then some of it is techno and some of it is really beautiful singing. And some of it reminds me of Radiohead, can be a bit depressing. But uh, no, I think overall I really enjoyed it. But it was it's kind of similar to the Surrender album by the Chemical Brothers. That yeah, I, was I have heard of Uncle, but I not. Um, I've realised it's science fiction, but it's Psy as in oh, Psycho. Oh wow! Okay, yeah, it's the Silent Py. That's why. Yeah. yeah, But that was yeah. My dad introduced me to Uncle, but there was only one song I was listening to. Didn't even check the time, but I just thought you know, <laughs> fuck it, fuck it. But Uncle. yeah, I, I I haven't really researched into anything about them. But there you They're go. Probably from I your town. Them. Yeah, that's that's how it usually is. Knowing it? you. Mm-hmm. Um, wicked. Oh, my <gasps> fuck. What? Well, so, next week, I mean, I still haven't booked my return ticket, but we're meant to be going to America. Well, you're going to America. Oh, it's two weeks. Next Tuesday. I mean, I said two weeks. It's, yeah, it's next Next I, Tuesday. Is it, it, is it, I it mean, the 6th? 6th. You're f- we're flying on the 6th, but we have to be at the airport on the evening of the 5th, which is a week today. 
Oh my god. Jesus Christ, I am Wait, should so I go, unprepared. Should I go from my house to the airport or should I go to your house and then go uh, all together? Well, we'll get the train to the airport or a lift. But we're not parking at the airport. These are these are conversations that can happen off the podcast. I know, but I'm worried. Oh my gosh, so close. probably try and record an episode before we go because we'll be at Woodward for a week and it'll be good to record one out there. Mm-hmm. But it'll be a little bit hectic, so I'd, it'll be good to get one yeah, one done cool. before. If anyone's going to be at Woodward, please come up to us and say hello and, and yeah. train with us. Street, Have fun. Street parrots. If anyone yeah. comes up to the wood, up to us at Woodward and says the word street parrots, they get a high five that I will forget about. And when you come up to me and say street parrots, I'll just be like, sorry, what? And then you'll be like, like, a, a high five? Awkward. A, a yeah. high five? You're like, what? What are you on about? Please don't touch me. Yeah. Uh, no, but seriously, it always surprises me who listens to the podcast. It is sick. It's, it's really, really cool. Really sick. Especially that you have access to like the views and things. Yeah, like when, yeah. I, when we have people on as guests and they say how many they've listened to, even just one, I'm like, oh shit, okay. You yeah. care. You actually care about There's people who like tag us voice. in videos of them watching it and they're on the other side of the world and I have no idea who they are. No. And they're like, there's this girl who like, posted this video of, I think she was like her doing handstands while we're I think we're talking about yeah it. and we're like talking about shit or something like I know and I'm like don't listen to that now like no like <laughs> you're better than that like, yeah but yeah there's a lot of that which is really cool so thank you everyone to listen for to listen for listening because yeah. we appreciate it obviously reviews and and sh- I mean sharing it is probably the biggest thing you can do the more people you tell definitely is wicked um I have started to realize that not everyone gets around to listening within oh no within the first kind of few days to week like there's a lot of episodes that we did three weeks ago that are kind of not spiking now but they're they're getting more now they're still getting shit loads of downloads yeah so we appreciate you you fucking people who are on it like right now Mm -hmm. but also if you're listening to this and you're a little bit slow don't worry we appreciate you as well we appreciate you all because some people have got busy schedules some people bang them out like four in a day yeah that's crazy imagine that was the day you got hit by an asteroid and the only thing you've done is listen to listen us to talk voice. about getting hit by an asteroid. Well, they're probably like, at least I knew some people. Because they, they, they think they know Imagine, us. right? I Here's a scenario. Know you. Oh. Here's a scenario. Somebody's flown out to Sri Lanka and they're, uh, they're, they're sitting on the beach and they're, they're, <laughs> they're sunbathing. They don't particularly want to read a book because you get squinty eyes in the sun and things. Yeah. So they've got their headphones in. Probably wireless headphones. So you not got your, your headphone cable trailing across your chest, leaving a tan line. Chest. Yeah. And uh, you're listening to podcast Europe fourth one in, which is this one. And as you do it, you're about I don't know three quarters of the way through it. As you do it, the sea just <laughs> goes like that, and no panic. Literally, you look at it and you're like, "I this 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 is ha- the universe was designed in this way." And there's no panic, and you just turn to the, the fellow beachgoers. You climb to the top of the lifeguard chair, and you're like. I don't know what you'd say. You'd probably just shout rum, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, because you would be listening to this one, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. You'd be like, oh. You'd be like, I was born for this. I, this this is all fate. This Everybody run! And then everyone runs towards the sea. You're like, other way! Yeah. <laughs> I feel like people, there would be some people who are like, oh, okay. Because yeah, yeah, like, it looks sick. like, it looks like fun. Yeah, yeah, The yeah, sea's yeah, just yeah. fucking gone. Um, but why is, th- I never even asked, why is that? Why does it get sucked out? Um... Poor. What was it because of an earthquake or because of seeing earthquakes? It? And I think it creates like a ripple. So I guess when you like go like that with water and it kind of goes backwards and then forwards. Yeah, good point. I think I, I would have thought because this sounds pretty stupid. But with an earthquake, if their plates even moving underneath well, or the like water falls so, in, well, even if it's just a tiny bit, it like creates a lot sort of and then yeah, I forward. reckon that's it I must be something like that. But yeah, even if it was a shake, you're right. If you have a bowl of water and you do this, yeah, it kind of like pushes it all and it like yeah, yeah, yeah. Scary talk. What anyway. a weird thing to finish mm-hmm. podcast from. I, while you're doing Music Minute, I had the most savage cramp when I yawned. I got. I don't know if you were... I was waiting for you to look at me. What, in I was, your jaw? I was scared and I couldn't make a noise. I looked right at like locked jaw. And I was looking at you like... Oh. <laughs> and then it went back to normal. I mean, you can if you were like dying. You could... No, but I didn't know what it was at first and I touched and it was really tense. And I was like, oh, cramp. Oh, weird. Yeah. I've been yawning loads. Well, there you go, people. Everyone's boring. If you get... <laughs> Lock jaw, just massage your jaw. Or just listen to Music Minute. Very true. It goes afterwards. All right. Thank you. Maybe we should start doing Music Minute at the start so people can't skip it. <laughs> They're like, we know the last 10 minutes is going to be after drivel, so... Yeah. Yeah, and we'll put yeah, the high point. value shit at the end. That's a good tactic. Yeah. You shouldn't have said that. Switch now people are going to skip. Very true. Oh, why are you yawning? Why are you boring me? Not really. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, let's go and have some dinner. 
Yay. Good. See you later. Bye. Love you. I always say love you. It's because I'm nice. Have a parkour beer. <laughs> parkour ISA. Sponsored by. Yeah, please send us some. Bye.